Hey, what's going on everybody? You can call me Snippy and welcome back to Minecraft Beta 1.7.3. Uh, however, today we're going to be doing starting a new series, sub-series of that, where we are going to be playing the super hostile maps. I'm talking about the OG ones. There's actually, the Vex, the person who makes these, I think they're still making them or something, or at least they have made more recent ones that have like a mod pack and stuff associated with it, but we're going back to the OG ones. This is kind of annoying to track down because the... Uh, the download link on his site didn't uh, work. However, there was a tweet that had a different link that did work. So I'll, that's in the description if you want to download these yourself. This, uh, for man these were meant for beta 1.7.3. So that's what we're doing them on. You may use peaceful at any time to heal yourself. And this is, this is basically... This is going to be kind of long. I actually, I don't, I've only ever even really seen, I think, the, 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 the first real level of this. Um, I think they just like got so hard, people literally couldn't beat them. Or, or I just didn't really seek it out, um, <laughs> people that did. But we're going to give it a try. We're going to see if I can't get through this. I'm kind of excited to, to, to go through it for myself for the first time ever, really. So let's have some fun uh, suffering. But it's not going to be that bad. I can use Peaceful at any time to heal myself. That is incredibly, incredibly powerful. And honestly, I'm welcome to it because... That was something everybody used to do back in the day. I haven't actually done that yet once, so... It's... It's a classic strat I'm gonna be happy to utilize. This map will teach you intermediate survival skills. It's assumed that you know the basics of Minecraft. If you do not, try the newbie guide on the Minecraft wiki. <laughs> this is a time capsule and a half. Welcome to Super Hostile number 00, Hazardous Environment Training. I wonder if that's a Half-Life reference by Vex. This is wonderful. What isn't wonderful is that this floor isn't even, but that's fine. We're never going to come here again. You know what? Screw your floor. Okay. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. This isn't my world. I have copies of these, I think. Yeah, no, I do. Okay. Super hostile maps have many dangerous things in them. All of these items here can hurt or kill you. However, you can also use them against monsters. Always think of how you can change the area for your gain. Cactus, contact damage. Oh. Ow! Lava, contact, and burning damage. Ah! Ow! Falling, splat damage. There's nothing to even land on there. Uh, let me just, hold on. Speaking, speaking of that, uh, peaceful strategy. That was a classic, using it when you're on fire. Oh my god, I did that literally at the perfect time. I couldn't have timed that better if I tried. Look at that. I didn't think it would actually make me burn for this long. Holy God, how long am I going to be on fire for? I'm the fireman! Never mind. I was going to say, I'm the fireman, baby. It didn't let me. Okay, well. Oh, well. TNT, explosive damage. If only I had a way to light it. Uh, we'll take it, though. I won't say no to that. I need a weapon, and this is the only one around. These are monster mob spawners. They are shut down because... Now, because of the light. Monsters spawn in darkness. Use light to stop them. You can also destroy spawners by mining them. Ah! Look at that. Look at that. Being, th this is, this is like, kind of basic introductory stuff nowadays, but... This, this really did help probably a lot of people, honestly, that they tried this. I don't know why you tried this if you didn't know these things, to be honest, though. Web. Suffocation damage. Wait, there's webs in this version? There's... Wait, there's cobwebs in 1.7.3? We are on 1.7.3. What? Well, they don't suffocate you, so it looks like you don't know what you're talking about, map maker. But, uh, yeah, that's... I didn't know there were webs in this version. Where the hell do you find them? They must not spawn naturally. Wow, I had no idea. Well, I'm definitely never going to be able to do get on one of every item now. Victory Monument. This is what these maps are probably famous for. Not me, though. Not really for me, but for a lot of, pe lot of people, probably. This is a Victory Monument. You win super hostile maps by filling each slot on the VM. I actually didn't know the first level even had this. Yeah, you have to get one of every wool color, and you fill it out. And this is for the victory monument. You can find boxes of wool to use on the monument. So when you find it, you get like a bunch just in case. That's good. Look for ore to mine to craft the metal blocks. Oh, you also need one of the metal, one of each metal block. So you need iron, gold, and diamond. This might actually take a while. I, I, in my mind, I'm like, I'll do, uh, you know, one per episode. That's not what's going to happen. I'm going to be honest, this might actually take, like, a year. <laughs> if if I do one of these a week, I don't know, we'll see. I'll, if, every, if every episode's an hour, it might not take that long. 
it might take a few, maybe like two months. This this is actually kind of a huge undertaking. I know I just started doing these like old Minecraft adventure maps and I'm already jumping into this one, which is, well, it's a series of maps. Uh, so that's why it's, and they're probably pretty long in and of themselves. So this is gonna take up a large chunk of things that we're gonna be doing, but it's fine. Orange wool has been placed as an example for you. Take a piece of white wool and place it in the white wool slot. Yeah, and then they already did the orange one. He even took it out of the chest. Here we go. Boom. Just like that. You do that till you fill it all the way up. I don't have a pickaxe, though, so I can't get to the iron. I also don't have a furnace. And also, it's, it's a tutorial. I don't need to do that. Hostile terrain navigation. Actually, it would have been kind of neat if you did get a, a one of the each blocks that you needed from all of these tutorials, so you had to do them all to complete it, but... Well, hey, it's raining. That's not loud at all. Whatever. Uh, what was this again? This is so loud. Okay, uh, hold on. Rain. You're going down. Look, this is a podcast intro. Hostile terrain navigation. All right. Now, I know how to do a lot of these things, but I want to experience going through the tutorial regardless. Okay, so that's how it's going to be. Use the items in this. It's still so loud. It's still... Use the items in this chest to reach the lower area. If you need inspiration, look at the example course. Hint, craft the sand into sandstone. Reminder, you can sneak on ladders to lock onto them. Oh. You want me to get down there? Okay, maybe I do need a tutorial. That's kind of hard, actually. All right, sand, gravel, ladder, torches. And if I fall, I lose all of it. That's not good. Okay. Now, the first thing I thought of was building over this glowstone and just jumping down onto it, but I don't know if that's what they want me to do. I think that's so I think that's so I can get back when I'm done. <laughs> I mean, hey, Minecraft's all about thinking outside the box, you know? Okay, well, I am definitely gonna turn it into sandstone because, oops, I don't need the sand. If I needed a block that I can drop, I have gravel for that, so we don't need sand for it. Alright, let's see. I mean... You did that a little extravagantly. I feel like ladders... I mean, I guess if I, if I end up getting my hands on enough of them, but... Here's what I would do. It, it's not, I guess, it's, it's not as good as that, I guess, because it doesn't have as much permanent, you know, up and downness to it, but... Basically, all I really gotta do is this, and then break my way down. And then I could... I don't know, build it back up, and then put ladders as I go back up. That's what I would do. Locking onto ladders and building them down isn't a bad idea, but, uh... Yeah, I, this is how I would do it. Hell, you know what? I wouldn't even mind taking a little damage. Yeah, then i do this. Everybody can do things in a different way. I'm gonna actually go all the way and do it, and you can't stop me. There's probably something you could do uh, with the torches if you're feeling really frisky. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Here, good job. Here, have a cookie. Wow, a cookie. I'll be needing that later. All right, now we go back. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. That was cool. See, there's multiple ways to do stuff. Now, hold on. Before I before I do anything else, I need to intrude on this other uh, this other trainee over here. Hold on. I feel like playing Bed Wars has, like, trained generations to do this stuff that I'm doing right now, like, way better than I can do it, but we're not going to talk about that. Hey, you didn't even center your bridge. <gasps> oh my god, I have an idea. Oh, this is genius. Hold on, let me rip your arms off real quick. You don't mind, do you? Bye-bye! I am the only player here, bastard. Know your place. Okay, he's dead. Now we're good. I not only am I good, I also have some levers for the TNT that I got. Oh, wonderful. Hey, I also got flint. That's good. See, my strategy also got me flint. That's like pro. That was the elite way to do it. All right, emergency shelter methods. Let's see. You can create an effective emergency shelter with a single torch, some sand, and a bed. Really? Hold on, let me clear my hot bar here. I think I got one torch. And then the sand. So I'll do that. So I can make a bed with this? Use the sandstone to make a 2x2 two two area at the top. Place your bed and torch as shown. When you leave, you can break the sand to lower yourself. Monsters cannot pathfind up the pillar, so you are safe. Wait, what? 
Wait, does that actually work? I guess I can test it. Hold on. Oh wait, I'm on peaceful. Oh, I'm on peaceful. I forgot. Hold on. <laughs> Don't want to invert the mouse. Damn it! Well, there goes my opportunity. Oh, whatever. Does that really work? Okay, wait. Craft three sandstone from sand and then pillar up the sand to a height of about 10 blocks. This will keep you away from skeleton arrows. So in a flash, if I built this, I'll be safe to sleep. And if I if I'm, if there's skeletons, I build up there and do it and I'm safe to sleep. Traditional methods require more sandstone and being on the ground leaves you vulnerable. So this is what you would probably do and what is technically worse to do is to build an actual little home Okay, well, how am I gonna do it? I'd probably do it like this. I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. What can I say? That is smart, though. I didn't think about that. I, I mean, okay, here's the thing, right? This is beta 1.7.3, you know? At the time, this was taken for granted. Nowadays, it's, this is not how it works. Nowadays, you just put a bed literally wherever you want. You'll be fine. But if you did this and slept, it would just spawn a monster, you know? Because that's how it worked back then. You needed to be in a safe environment, in quotation marks. But I guess this constitutes as one because it's... I mean, really, I think you just need this to put a bed down and then you just need to put a torch. And since the mobs can't get there, they can't spawn on you either. I think that's what that's saying. Wow, I'm learning meta tactics for a 12-year-old Minecraft version. That's fucking wild. Okay. Farming resources. Oh wait, I skipped the tutorial. Hold on, we gotta do that one, guys. We gotta do. We're gonna do all of them. This is gonna be the first episode, because uh, maybe I'll start the, the first mission a little bit. We'll see. It'd be kind of nice and convenient if I did it this way, but I don't know. Maybe it's not super entertaining. I don't know. I think it's still important, regardless. Using the supplies provided, craft a stone pickaxe. Okay. Let's clear the hop bar. I didn't even make a bed tutorial thing, but that's because I didn't even. I don't need to. I don't see any the materials to make a stone pickaxe with. Is there supposed to be stone in there? This is a basic landmine trap. It is designed to kill you. You can put it to use your own uses, however. Hint, use Q default to throw a stick and then run. Oh. Yeah, I would not have thought of that. I would have either blown that up with my own TNT, or I would have jumped down and jumped back out. But if there's sand under the plaps, if, under the... If there's sand under the pressure plate, that is not a strategy that you want to do because then you just get stuck and you die. That's an OG landmine trap. I never see that crap anymore. I never see people build that stuff. All right. Now, I hear spiders down there, so I'm going to make a sword just in case. All right. So now I have a pick. And now I can dig down. I'm pretty sure this is what they want me to do, right? Well, what do those signs say? Explosions are useful are useful for collecting stone if you do not have a pick yet. Some explosions respawn. Well, yeah, like creepers. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, troublesome creatures can be put to use. Reminder, disable peaceful here. Oh, I go down. I was gonna dig down. The pick is to get, oh no, the trick is to get them to detonate while not near you. You might take some damage, but remember this, no pain, no gain. Oh yeah! That was not what I expected. All right, look, not the place to blow up, Creeper. There's a chest there. I want that. Oh, that's a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just, uh, looting all this stuff. You don't mind, right? See, you're not a, such a bad guy after all. You're really just understood. You, you just misunderstood. You're not so bad. Do I really want to deal with this? All right, you're going to help me. You're going to help me, okay? Blow up! Good work. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. Here, you blow up. Look at that. All right, out of here, skeletons. You blow up. Oh, the supplies, no! Uh-oh. Ow, you deflected my arrow at me. You parrying bastard. Okay, well, I guess I'll collect it. Is there actually anything for them to discover? I don't think these skeletons are supposed to be here. I think it's supposed to just be a creeper spawner. 
Oh, good thing he left me the one block gap to shoot them through. You know, uh, this volume level is actually pretty good. They're not too loud like normal. I might keep the volume like this forever. That's good. I always had a kind of an issue with the volume of the Minecraft beta stuff. Yeah, that's just a creep responder. Those other things weren't even supposed to be here. <laughs> Can I have any more? Or, uh, or no, I guess not. Okay, well, it is what it is. I don't know if there's actually anything down here to get to, but uh, I think I get the gist of it. I can use creepers to my advantage, and uh, it's it, 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 that's, a, that's cool. I like that. I like that. All right, let's go to the next tutorial then. The stuff really is truly, really, truly is advanced. Farming resources. You can make bone meal from bones. You can use bone meal to instantly grow plants. This can be amazingly helpful. That really can. Grab some bone meal and try instantly growing things. Ooh, sapling, seeds, bone meal. My inventory is a mess. I'm gonna offload things I don't think I'll need anymore. Like these. Actually, I can keep that. Uh, I will need the arrows. I can put an extra bow and the swords away. I'll just jump cut. Okay, we're done. Coal ore eventually runs out. But did you know you can cook wood into coal using a furnace? If you have trees in a furnace, you can make infinite charcoal, which is just like the coal that you mine. Honestly, a lot of these things, you might really figure out from a map like this, or somebody playing it, you know what I mean? Because there wasn't a recipe book or anything like that. Boom, look at that. This really is back when bone meal just insta-full grew things. How OP is that? Seriously. Like, that's so actually busted powerful. <laughs> That is so OP. And there's some wood in there. You know, you could do this. Wood make wood cook wood make charcoal cook wood to charcoal, which cooks more everything. Isn't that genius? It is. Well, I just summarized that process. You don't need to. I don't need to look at it any longer. Alternative lighting. Now this is useful actually. Jack o' lanterns and glowstone are both useful light resources. Oh, face. When working with water environments. Oh yeah! I didn't even process that in my brain that you can put jack-o'-lanterns underwater. To be fair, they wouldn't, it doesn't really make sense because, you know, water would flood through the hole and put the torch out, but whatever. Why am I, why did I ever think about it that way? Of course that works underwater. It's Minecraft. The water's not going to flow into the eyes. You can use flint and steel to set fire to netherrack. It burns forever and provides light and defense. Trick, trick monsters into walking through the fire. You are a fool to give me such a tool. All right, dark areas can be danger dangerous and filled with monsters. So this this looks like a good spot for an advanced lighting technique. Hmm. An advanced lighting technique, the snippy edition. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. There you go. This is back when you had to wait for the TNT to blow up from a fire. Oh God! It didn't work. All right, maybe my strategies aren't so advanced after all. Uh, they need some refinement. Now uh, let's head back. Uh, yeah, let's 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 build back up. Maybe I need a little more refining of my tactics. Dump lava into the hole. Oh, well that would have been useful. Lava is one of the most powerful things you can use. It provides flowing light and it destroys enemies. Lava is actually unironically super OP. Well, that'll do its job. Use this pool if you have an accident with the lava. Out of my face. That's for me to use, not you. Okay. Take a nap if you need to change it to daytime. I already had to do that. Sunlight is another useful source of light. Yeah, who would have thought? What is that over there? Whoa. The world is over there. <laughs> We're not in a floating void after all. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. That is so cool. That's all the water and lava falls. Going out of the side of the chunks that like were world edited out. And it just looks like sound waves or something, or like a graph. <laughs> it looks like my YouTube analytics. They're going down. Alright, break the sandstone and fry the little monsters. Just break open caves and let the sign shun in. Sh sun shine in. What did I just Ow! Yeah. Get him, sun. Here comes the sun. Ba -da -da -da. There we go. Ow! I hate you. You're about to meet your maker. Actually, nah. I'll, 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 I'll be fine. I want to see what's down here. There's probably nothing, but you never know. There's nothing down here. I feel like this used to be an actual cave. And he, like, left it in when he, like, world edited the rest or something. I don't know. 
All right, that's that. And I guess now I can sleep. I, I want to go test this though. I want to go test that sleeping first. I don't have any more food. Um, I should probably make some bread then, just in case. Oh, wait a minute. I can just do peaceful. They even told me to. <laughs> yeah, I guess I do need this tutorial. I would, I, I, if I just threw myself in without hearing any of these advanced strategies that really are lost to time. These are tactics that are lost to time. This is unironically like learning like ancient sword fighting techniques. Like people just forgot this stuff. Like this, people forgot this. I never even knew this. No, no, no. Okay, sleep. It really does work. Wow, I never knew that. That's incredible. That's incredible. That's so cool. That's so fascinating. I really do feel like a goddamn archaeologist archeolo going through this stuff. Okay. You know, he didn't he didn't show the advanced grappling hook techniques. I got to show a techniques of my own. See, this is how Snippy does things, okay? This is what I call the grappling hook. Because they just, they don't have one in the game. So here we go. Boom, baby. It's very simple. This was not in this tutorial, though. And I'm actually shocked. This is probably going to genuinely be an amazing strat throughout all of this. So, uh, good thing I have that on my under my belt. Okay, now what is next? I have a funny feeling that literally what I just showed is what's next. Long-term food solutions. While pork chops are typically easy to get in a normal in a normal Minecraft map, it makes the game way too easy. I I mean, you know what? That does make sense. Grass is very rare on my maps, and therefore, so are farm animals. Don't expect an easy infinite supply of pork and leather to make free armor out of. If you have water, I mean, if you have wood, if you have wood, water, and spiders, you have food. Craft stick and string into a fishing pole and go fish. Okay, mushrooms are great, but take a while to start farming. Wheat is good if you are in a hurry, especially if you have bone meal to instantly grow them. You can find seeds in chests sometimes, or from tall grass. Use seeds to create a farm and bake some bread. But will I even get one out of all of this? Oh, I actually got two! Would you look at that? That's a shocker. There you go. I already trampled it. Mushrooms are ideal for long treks away from base. Four slots, 320 hearts of healing. What? You can't get that from pork chops. Wait, hold on. What do you mean 320 hearts of healing? Oh, this, this arrangement in your inventory is worth that much. That is incredible. Four slots, 160 hearts. Oh, wow. That's a really neat way to rationalize that. That's so interesting. That's just so well, in, that's just so informatively given to you like that. Not nearly as much as mushrooms, but you don't have to mess with empty bowls in your hotbar. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, work, man, mining that workbench back up does take a while, though. That's the thing. Harvest row. Source row. To farm mushrooms, you need a large area and a lot of time to let them spread through, but the end result is great. Mushrooms can spread up and down one block in height. Never harvest these. They try to spread to other rows. The source row. Really? So that's it, huh? Don't put light sources right beside mushrooms. They like the shade. You don't want sunburned fungus. Use light to keep monsters away, but not direct light. So, I never understood how this worked exactly. I mean, I guess it's just a matter of knowing what light level everything is. There's a light level between the mob spawning and between a torch down that uh, mushrooms like, and it's a very specific, and I don't remember it. Semi-automatic mushroom farm, common design. Well, there's a creeper in there, so it clearly doesn't work. To get usable amounts of mushrooms, you need a large farm like this, or even larger. This is huge. <laughs> you know, the, the under the tree and in a cave on my beta world, I have a far more efficient mushroom farm. Well, actually, this is probably a lot better, but you know what I mean. There's more than efficient enough for me. There are many, many different farm designs you can use. This example is by no means perfect. Hopefully, though, it gives you some inspiration. This is more perfect than I could make. Get out of here. You're not, you don't, you didn't, you're not invited. All right. This farm uses water to rapidly harvest all the mushrooms from the harvest rows without harming the mushrooms in the source rows. Oh, God. Oh, that's so cool. I know it's simple, but it's so cool. Put water here. It doesn't even use two buckets. It uses one. Oh, my God. That's so good. 
That's so good. I want to build that in my beta world, dude. That's so cool. I totally forgot about this kind of thing. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, stuff like this, I always think in my head, oh, I got to use like a dispenser. I got to use like two dispensers and a button. No, you can just put one water bucket in the middle. Reminder, monsters spawn at light level 7 or less. Mushrooms uproot in light level 12 or greater. Yeah, see, it's like a very specific range. Keep the floors of the farm around light level 10 and you'll be fine. Look at the lighting of the mushroom par uh, articles on the Minecraft wiki for more in information. And that's when that information was only really relevant for mushrooms. God, people don't farm mushrooms anymore either. It's because of the mushroom trees. You can just like bone meal that, right? I don't know. I don't remember. Just, oh, this classic Minecraft stuff. Just, mmm, just so good. Water training. You can use items to create air pockets underwater. Oh yeah, classic. Doors, signs, torches, right? Signs and doors work very well for this. You can plant torches to create brief air pockets. Okay, torches are brief. What update was it that torches did make permanent ones then? I feel like they used to do that in this version. Maybe it was only in older ones. Let's experiment. Oh yeah, no, that really does go away. Oh, the thing I'm thinking of is that it, it auto-fills your air all the way, which means you really only need that. But then it might not be available, because if, you, if you're on the floor, if there's no walls near you, you can't put a torch at your head level, so you need a door. So, and a door lets you get a quick launch up. That lets me elevate faster. Plant water elevators to climb up this cliff. You can do it with just a single bucket of water. Yep, I was right. They do have it. Damn it. I thought I brought something to the table. Oh, well. It is what it is. It's just proof that it's a good strategy. Great minds think alike. You know? I mean, this is an absolute classic. People definitely still do this. 150%. And up we go. I'm pretty good at it, too, I think, relatively speaking. Water is also great for safely lowering yourself. Yep, it sure is. That's into the void. You won't trick me, game. Actually, wait. Is there, like, a hidden door? No. All right. I think we've done it. I guess this wasn't too long yet. We're gonna we're gonna at least do 30 minutes of the first map, 100%. And with that, we have reached the end of version 1.1. New versions will have more training areas. Check back from time to time. Yeah, there's there's more modern versions of this map for sure. There's like a mod pack that there's like a, a whole mod pack made for it and stuff. There is a lot to this. This is like a still ongoing thing, relatively speaking. I think these are like the OG first ones. Maybe I'll do the other ones at some point. Maybe. Maybe I'll try that mod pack one day. But for now, let's go to the first challenge. The first true... The first true scary, super hostile, scary challenge. And that sounds like something that would go really good in the title. But you know me, guys. It's going to be Minecraft Super Hostile Episode 1. And that's it. Because it'd be really easy to put... Super hostile, super hardcore, old Minecraft, super, super hard, scary, 10,000 attempts to beat. But I'm not going to do that. So let's go to the first level. Whee! <laughs> All right, we have made it to the first level. Now, uh, I, have, I have a bit of a thing to admit to you guys. This isn't, well, this is the first level, but there's a more, there's a remade, way better version of it. See a flame, two. That's made from the ground up to be just basically what this wants to be, but actually better and good and more fun. But this is the actual OG one, and even if it's worse, I want to do this first anyway. Because someone at some point in time had this as their experience, so I want it too. We can always do the Sea of Flame 2 later anyway. Maybe I'll do it at the end as a bonus or something. But for now, uh, we have to get started. So here we are in the Sea of Flame. Because it's a lava ocean. Now, if I find one water bucket, I'm making a, a cobble generator and I'm going out until I find the real world. I'm kidding. But that actually is kind of a fun idea. Whee! Oh my god, I didn't make it. Well, at least that's not actually a trap. I thought it was. I really thought that was a trap that I would have died. But uh, it wasn't, thankfully. Because I messed it up. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Super Hostile 1, The Sea of Flame. Or H version. Uh, doesn't mean hard mode uh, in the circles I visit. Hard mode. X-Men, welcome to die. I don't know what that's a reference to. Need a goal? Find a complete the victory monument. That's a goal, all right. 
Map by Vex. Disclaimer, this map is hard. I hate you, and I want you to die. Well, at least you admitted it, unlike FromSoft. Okay. Well, here we are. The beginning of, of a new journey. Now, uh, is that a pressure plate? No, it's not. It's just really suspicious. I'm basically free to do whatever I want, I think. All things considered, there's not really rules to this. I don't think. Pro tip, lava can hurt you. Yeah, no shit. Is that clay over there? Oh, I don't think clay is useful for anything. What would I want clay for? What, bricks? I don't know. There's a chest with a stick. Well, that's nice. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with this pressure plate. I actually don't know why I harvested this. Okay, there's probably some traps around the place. That was not one. I should probably... First thing I should do is probably make sure I don't have any landmines around. Because I don't want to run into any of them by accident. Looks like these are all fake. They're all pretending to be landmines. Why are there pressure plates out here? They definitely don't affect anything. I mean, they're on, they're on obsidian. It looks like this island is formed from volcanism. You won't live long or prosper. Haha, <laughs> Vulcan joke. <laughs> I never watched Star Trek. I, I think I saw a little bit of it on the TV when I was a kid, and I thought, they're just talking in a spaceship. I thought that was the whole show, is they just they just talk. They just, they're just sitting in a chair, and they just have conversations about random stuff. And I'm, I was like, I don't know, why would I watch that? I'd rather watch Star Wars. I have been more and more incentivized to actually look at what Star Trek really is, though, recently, but... I don't need to get super bogged down in anything, so I'm all right. I'm okay. Tacos are delicious. I just felt like it's a good place to put the pressure plates, you know what I mean? Okay. I don't know what that hole leads to, by the way. I'm not daring enough to find out just yet. Twang. What does that mean? Oh. 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 Oh, I hear footsteps in there. Somebody's in there. Oh, God, he's a skeleton. Oh, God, there's more than one. No, it's a whole troop of them. Hey, don't you take long shots at me. Do you know who I am? Whoa! I caught that with my eyeball. You gonna die yet? Hey! I tried to parry that. Die! D die, I said! Are you not burning? You gotta burn. Hey, screw you, I'm going around. Okay, well, that's a skeleton spawner. There's, you There's more than one way to get saplings and grass, is there? I really don't know of many. Okay, we're gonna need to get down there and block that spawner off. Oops. There you go. That wasn't too hard, was it? Uh-oh. Okay, new plan. Here we go. Sandstone on top. Then we break this. Oh, they have a block down. Oh, they're low. I thought they weren't. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. I didn't know that. Okay, we're just gonna fully block it off for now. One day I'll be able to make use of that, I think. I can farm I can farm them that way, but for now we're gonna leave it as is. Oh, there's a spider. What are you doing? Why is there a spider? I have valuables on me. Get away. Spider bro, is it you? Come on, man. Can't you be my friend? Oh, they're coming out of there. I gotta block that off. Okay, can I get over there without dying? I don't know. Let's just go. Let's go, 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 go. Hey, one of them fell in. It's not Spider Bro. Spider Bro would never be so mean. He knows better than that. Okay, I did it. Blocked. Spawners blocked. No danger here. Now I can go over here. That's not more, is it? No, we're good. We're okay. We're not going to get shot in the back, thankfully. All you got to do is be smart, guys. And hey, would you look at that? Dirt! <laughs> we found dirt. What a wonderful item. There's also wood over there. And coal. Okay, uh, here's the problem. I need to get myself a bed. Okay, since I blocked those spawners off, I think it's fair to say I can use Peaceful for a little bit. Just enough to regen, and I think I earned some respite, you know? I, I solved that puzzle. All right, is there anything under this? No. Honestly, I just want to get my hands on some TNT in general. Like, I could really use it for something. I need to find myself some, uh, oh, oh, there is TNT. Would you look at that? I found some TNT, hell yeah. Okay, how am I gonna use this? Where am I gonna use this? Hmm, wait, there's glass and wood up there. What the hell? What is that doing up there? I need to go get that wood and that glass. Is this what you're talking about, Mr. Sign? Oh, 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 
That gravel's floating. If I build on that, I'll fall. Okay, we'll make sandstone. And then we'll... I can just break this with my hands. I'm a patient guy, alright? I'm a patient man. I really, truly am. And by the time you're done complaining, it's already done anyway. See? That's proof. Alright. Two wood and a glass. I don't know. I can't really get the glass because there's no such thing as silk touch. So we're just going to have to avoid it. I don't know what it's for, but it's there. But I have some wood. Wait a minute. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, I did not know that! I did not know that, that was actually going to be like a trap or something. I had no clue. I had no idea that there'd even be TNT under that. That's crazy. I almost died. Good thing I just held left mouse without any concern for what laid behind it. That block that I was breaking. It ended up saving my life. Okay, we have two TNT and some more free pressure plates. Which I don't know what to do with. Oh, there's dirt here. Well, that's good. I have two dirt now. I don't actually know how to get grass in this version. Is there like a way to get grass that doesn't require, you know, already existing grass? Because I don't know. I have no idea. Let's go to this volcano over here. I need to make a bed and a base. Okay. I need to find wool. That's kind of the point. Gravel mountain. Can I make that jump? Yeah, of course I can. Mount Kilauea. <laughs> I love the simplest, the simplest jokes ever. Just, it's so simple. I love it. It's so good. There used to be a gas spawner here, but it was too glitchy. You got lucky, punk. You know how the ghasts back then, if you guys have seen my beta playthrough, I. I've tried to hit their balls back at them. It takes like 50 to kill them. They have like so much health in this version. And the bow has no range compared to modern Minecraft either. So they really are. They would be horrible if you had gas in this map. It'd be horrible. Thank you for not doing that. If you hold gravel in your hand, a lava won't hurt you. Try it out. It's awesome. Oh. I don't think that's true. I spend a lot of time around some lying bastards, and that's something they would say. So, knowing that, I don't think I'll try it. I wonder if mossy cobblestone marks special areas. It probably does. But, uh, good thing you wrote a sign, just to make sure I definitely know that for sure now. There's clay on a chest over there. I need wool. Where am I gonna get- where am I gonna get wool? I need to find some wool, mate. And if I get some wool, it can make me a bed. Well, I got this chest. I already looted this before. I was gonna make a point to break all the chests I mined, or I uh, looted, and I did not. Now I did. Okay, it's turning night. This is bad. I need wool to make a bed, and but I don't. I don't have any wool. This is not good. We may have to take sh uh, shelter in a hole. Rabbit hole number one. Oh, and now that I like the sound of, a lot. But how do I actually... Is this gonna be... It's not very safe. Ow. Fear is a reflex. Courage is a choice. I like that line. But, uh... I don't have a weapon, so... I don't know how I feel about going into this. Actually, I do know how I feel. It's not worth it. Oh, but the creeper, though... Okay. Give me the stone, give me the stone, give me the stone. We gotta go. That's all I needed. Whoa, whoa, over here. Whoa! Whoa, victory monument. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! Okay, you can't fit down, but that's fine. I need to kill you. Give me your string. You can make wool with string. I need to get in here! Oh my god, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it! Hurry! Break the stone! Break the stone! Okay. We're safe. Oh, baby. We got mini trees. And the victory monument. Well, this is a fantastic thing to find. Alright. There it is. We know where we need to go later. We know where we're setting up. We are setting up in the victory monument. Okay. Okay. This weapon. This is weapons. This is very valuable resources that I probably can't get more of right now. This is kind of trashy. 
and that's important. And then this is also kind of trashy. There's a whole mountain made of gravel, so I'm not too worried. I only wanted this gravel to make, uh, to get a flint, so let's do that. If I can get one, I don't have iron, so I can't make a flint and steel. I also don't have a steel to make a flint and iron, so unfortunately that's not going to work. But I'll have the flint part of either of those things, so everything will be fine. There it is. Good. And I'll put this sign. I'm going to rewrite that. I like that line. Fear is a reflex. Fear, uh, fear is a reflex. Courage is a choice. There you go. I really like that line. We're keeping it. It's like our motivational poster in Subnautica, though, the cat. Oh, you know what? This could drop a sapling. These could drop saplings. If I'm really lucky, these could drop saplings. They have a higher chance if they deteriorate on their own, so I'm going to not break them. I'm going to let them deteriorate. Okay. Ah, oh, it didn't give us any damage. Oh, well, we couldn't exactly increase our odds, so that's it is what it is. Unfortunately, we're not going to have a forest... But that's okay. Well, wood is for turning into planks anyway, so let's just do that. And let's see what we can't make. I have one stick and some stone. I think a safe thing to do is to make a stone pickaxe. Because I can get a lot of stuff with that. Including a lot of stone. And if I get a lot of stone, we can build out to any island we want. Now, I don't actually want to vandalize this area, so we're going to have to mine somewhere else. And I don't have coal to make torches, which really sucks, so that's not going to work either. So, in the meantime, I need to make a weapon. It's only one stick, so... Okay, we're going to put this away. We're going to make a sword. And we're going to say, that's good enough. I don't need anything else. I don't need any other tools right now. I'm going to do some peaceful healing. Because it's all I have. And we have a very good moment of respite here. Now we're back to hard. Okay. Let's get back at it then. Uh, making a door would be nice. I have to remember to do that at some point. Okay. It's very dark and I apologize. Let's see if I can't get that flashlight on. Okay. Sometimes you really do need... Sometimes you really do luck out and get free stuff. There's TNT down there. And there's a skeleton spawner over there. I don't like that. But I have a, a pickaxe. So we can get rid of this stuff, no problem, without any risk at all. Look at that! It pays to be prepared, everybody. Oh, I broke the sign. Damn it. Sometimes it pay sometimes it pays off and you you, re you really do get free stuff. I can't write the fi funny face. I don't know how I wrote that wrong, but I did. Okay. Now we need to get rid of that skeleton spawner if it's possible oh i don't like that here's a strat whoa 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 i did not expect that i did not expect that that's so genius that is genius who did that oh i don't want to open my inventory i'm sorry oh my god that is so smart I need to get rid of that skeleton spawner. I have one that's more farmable than that. If I want to farm bones... Uh-oh! What the hell is that? No, that's all the loot! Oh my god! They're gonna pull up the loot! Shit, what do I do? I have to get to that without without them getting rid of it. How am I gonna do that? Stop jumping. Oh my god, this is not good. This is really, really, really bad. They broke the chest. I need to block off that creeper area. Ow, you assholes. Whoa, what are you doing up there? Oh, this is bad. <gasps> they can get down, they can get down, they can get down. No, they can't, no, they can't, no, they can't. Wait, well, yes, they can. Yes, they absolutely can. Break, block that off. Okay, here's the strat. I need to... Oh, this is gonna take a while, dude. These items might even... They might despawn before I'm even done. I don't like this. Okay, just take them all out. Take them all out. Just as if you're farming them. 
I need those creepers gone. The creepers are the biggest problem right now because I don't want them blowing up the items. I don't know. This is really risky. Okay, okay. All right. No, out of the way. You're in the way, buddy. Oh my god. Okay, we have pushed ourselves forward one block. One block. Alright, better idea. We're just gonna tunnel under to the items. Who's shooting at me? How'd you get in here? How did he get in here? How did he do that? How did he do that? How the hell did he do that, huh? How did he- how did he get in? I thought we were good. Is it because it's dark? Oh shit. That's a f okay, that's the hole. That's- that's the floor. I need to get the items. I'll die for this. I need these. Oh, it's because of the creeper. The creeper blew up so the ground is uneven. Okay, we should have like two layers of floor between us now. No, there's gravel. Wait, did I get some of the items? Oh, I did, I did, I did! We're almost- we're, we're under the items! We're so close. It might be a waste, but I'm gonna eat that pork right now. I just- I need it. Uh-oh. We're good. We're okay. We can deal with this. Ow. No. No! Really bad. Really bad. Sand! <laughs> I think the items are gone. I think if there's anything left, it's gone. I think it's I think it's all gone, guys. Oh my god, it's it's all it's all done. It's all done for. There's nothing I can do. I need to see through that glass. Oh no. Give me my stone! Okay. Is the is there gold? No, it's gone. The stuff in that chest is gone. Oh, it got blown up. No, dude. Ah, oh, I messed up, guys. Oh, I was so close to getting that right. I really was so close. God damn it. I was so close. It's all because of the creepers. It's all because of the creepers. I didn't know that the wall would fall down. Man, oh, I didn't get anything out of that. I didn't get anything. I mean, I did. I did get a bunch of stuff, but oh, god damn it, dude. I didn't get any of the gold. There was like a bunch of gold. I might have needed that for the gold block. I might have needed that for the gold block, dude. Oh, okay. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Okay, that's gonna... Maybe that's a good thing. It lets me through without worry. Okay. If this were Pokemon, 319 Zubat would have fought you by now. You can't take two steps without fighting them. I uh, never played the OG Pokemon, or really any of them. Why is there a Mossy Cobble there? Humans keep out the monsters. Ah! No! You bastard! I hate you! I'll show you. You think you can keep me out, huh? Is that what you think? You're a fool. Alright, um, because I literally have no choice, I think, uh, I think I've earned some respite. Here we go. I am gonna own you, you monster bastards. You say humans aren't allowed in there? Well, I'm about to prove you wrong. By the power of light. Humanity's greatest resource. That's easy. Okay, there we go. I probably should not be doing this on hard, but I know... I am never smart. Ow. You're a real bastard, aren't you? Come here, skeleton. Come here. Not so scary anymore. I beat you! I won! Winning feels good, doesn't it? It sure does! Screw your spawner! I'm breaking it! I don't want to deal with you anymore, skeletons! There's enough for you! I have that one spawner in the mountain. That's the only one I'll ever need. Spider spawner, though? Now, that is very useful. I can make wool with that. So we're gonna keep it. This is one I can actually farm. 
I guess I could farm the one over there as well. You know what? I should go do that. I'll break this one. I will. Because I want these caves to be safe. Boom. Oh my god! Whoa! That is insanity! What are you doing to me? Are you crazy? You're giving me so much stuff! This is insane! Holy shit! That's so much! This is insanity. Oh, this is sick. This is sweet. This is real good. Okay, there's a lot more stuff down there and over there that we need to go and, and conquer, but all in due time. But you thought, what? You thought all you had to worry about was just a sea of lava and shortage of wood? Ha! <laughs> well, I guess caves are one thing to worry about, huh? You know, there's a lot of dirt down here. Uh, dirt with TNT under it, as a matter of fact. I have a lot of stuff on me, and you're not ruining that, okay? Well, I sure hope you don't. You really could right now. In fact, I, the only thing I only thing I can do to guarantee is that I'll get out of that is if I just build directly up. So that's what I did. All right, let's store all this stuff. Let's bank it because holy shit, is it so much? We even got a minecart with chest and a minecart with furnace, which means we got a, which means we got a free furnace. This is very good. I like this a lot. Look at the amount of items we just secured. Look at this. This is like playing Tarkov or something. God damn. All right. This is sweet. This is really sweet. I got my little stash here. I got to organize. Man, this is good. Look at all the wool we got. We got four of the 16 things we need to put. I think. Wait. Okay. Orange. Magenta. Light blue. Yellow. Hey, would you look at that? They're all in order. I wonder if that actually is intentional or not. We also got 15 iron. I know I should use that to make like other things, but I, I want this iron block out of the way now. That way I don't have to worry about it later. So I'm going to place it. Boom, baby. Iron block and four wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 so that's 12 wait 12 and then plus these four so there's six there is 16 wool types and then there's an iron golden diamond block so there's 19 total trophies okay interesting let's see i need to organize this stuff actually because that's just the way that i am uh not organized though oh i got red and wait i got red and yellow wait a minute if I farm string, okay, farming string is my number one priority. Actually, no it isn't. We have wool. We have a surplus of wool. And the rules, we can do what we want. So, there's no rules. So, I'm gonna make a bed. We have a bed! We have a bed! Okay, we have a lot of stone to war names, so let's just go make use of that. I'm gonna go make myself, actually, I can just put the bed here. We have a bed. We have a bed. We beat the game. Wait, is there anything under this dirt? Oh, look at all this dirt. Look at how much dirt we have. Maybe there's not a shortage of dirt. It's the grass we have a shortage of. If only I could get my hands on some grass. Is it me or is it the spiders that I hear under me right now? Probably not. Probably not. This is a lot of dirt. Okay, well, I'm gonna mine to the bottom of it, and we're gonna see. I have a feeling there's either gonna be grass under it or something scary. Grass down here wouldn't actually be very helpful, though. Uh-oh. There's a cave. I don't have torches. We'll have to come back. Well, I'm literally in my home, so maybe it's not very far, but... This is a lot of dirt. I can make a lot of farmland with this if I get my hands on some seeds. Okay. Here we go. I'll use stone for the stairs. That's what's disposable. Look at how much of it is. Stone is literally all around us. Okay. There you go. Oops. Alright. I'm gonna light that up a little bit. We're gonna see if we can't get down there. We're gonna see if we can't get through this. Oh. 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 That's a rave down there. That's a real rave. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. 
We're gonna not go down there right now. In fact, I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna call it for the day. We did the we did the tutorial and we uh, sunk our claws into this adventure map here, the Sea of Flame, and I think it's going on pretty well. I think this is going very well. I okay, I lost a chest of gear. That that's actually kind of sad. I'm, I kind of regret that immensely. However, all things considered, it could have been worse. It always could be. But that's gonna do it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, I very much appreciate it. As always, it means a lot. We're gonna be playing more of this as the weeks go on every day. Uh, every every week we're gonna be playing this on the same day. So if you don't know about it, I have a schedule on my YouTube banner that uh, pretty much explains what day this is, is old Minecraft adventures or old Minecraft or whatever. So without further ado, that's gonna do it for now. I guess it's only fitting that I actually end it while looking at the sea of flames, don't I? So let's do that. You guys can't get up here, right? Oh, you can. Oh, you can. Oh, you can. Oh, oh, you can. You can. Um. This is not good at all. This is really bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! We gotta go! Ooh, we gotta go! <laughs> we gotta go! We gotta go! We gotta go! I need to block that off properly. I need to actually block that off for real. They, there's a creeper spawner like right there. Maybe it's okay. Oh! You scared me. No, it's a zombie spawner. Okay, now we're definitely safe. We don't have to worry about them getting through this anymore. There, we're good. We can actually make a way up that's that's reliable in some way. I guess ladders would be nice, but I don't have my hands on that. Hey, a glowstone. We can make use of that. Look at that. Okay. Let me actually get up here. I want to way up. I need, to find, we need to find water. I don't think I've seen any water yet in this level. Hey, spider. Look at you looking through the glass. So it'd be really nice to get, get a hang of that. Get, that, get our hands on that. Look, just let me build up, and we'll be good. Look at that. Perfect! It lined up just right. Awesome. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, I very much appreciate it. As always, it means a lot. But until next time, you know I always come back. And while I have been snippy, you know I'll see you around. There's something up there. <laughs>